So I'm going to teach you how to play that E chord blues groove on the acoustic guitar, and we're going to break it down into its parts. It's actually a lot easier to get down than you might think. The first thing we're going to start with is the basic groove. We're going to take away the percussion and all the slidey stuff that's happening and just establish the basic groove. That's going to sound like this. That's the core to this entire groove, is that guitar part right there. You've got a chord and then a lick that follows it. So let's talk about how that works. The way this groove comes together is with an E chord. So I've got my middle finger on seven on the A string, first finger's on six on the D string, and then my ring finger is gonna be on seven on the G string. This is our chord. First thing that's gonna happen is thumb's gonna play the low string, and then I'm gonna pluck the three fretted notes of the chord with my first, middle, and ring finger. Now I'm gonna add in another low string after that chord. And that last E, that last low E that I hit starts off a lick. Going zero, five, seven, and then with my first finger, I'm gonna pluck seven on the A string. Now I need to make my way back down. Grabbing five on the low string. Now there's one last note for us to play in this passage, and that's five on the A string. So that's our whole groove. When I play that lick on the E and A strings, I'm gonna always be plucking the E string with my thumb and the A string with my first finger. Here's what the groove sounds like in full. So that groove is the core of what makes up everything else you can do with this. So adding in percussion, messing with the rhythm a little bit, it starts with that groove right there. So now we're going to mess with the rhythm a little bit. So take that same groove that we just learned, and we're going to hang on to that last note, this D here on the A string. We're going to hang on to that for just a little bit longer. Now we're going to add in a little bit of action on the low string. And rhythmically, it's pretty similar. So we're extending this lick all the way down to this G here on the E string. Now you've got a couple of pieces where you can put together a groove in three different parts, right? And vary how you're going to play it the whole time. One of the other things I like to do when I play this groove is slide into that E chord, something like this. That's even more variety we can add in when we're playing through this groove. Now the final component for us to add in is the percussive aspect. Much like a snare drum, I'm adding a little slap with my thumb on beats two and four. The way I'm going to fit that in initially can be a little tricky, because when we play the chord, instead of plucking it, we're actually going to strum it at the same time that we slap the low string with our thumb. That motion looks like this. So what I'm doing there is my thumb lands on the E string for that slap effect. And it's gonna stay there. And my first and middle finger are gonna follow through with a strum. And that's how I get that strum at the same time as I slap.
And that's going to happen right on the second beat. Now we need to find where our second slap is going to go. So I'm fitting in my second slap right in the middle of that low string lick. Now all I need to do to finish out the entire phrase is add in the last two notes, these guys. Now that I have that slap in there, I can start playing with rhythm a little bit, just like we did earlier without the slaps, and come up with a full percussive groove. So I hope you found this video helpful and that it got you going with fingerstyle guitar and grooving on fingerstyle guitar. And this this passage is actually from a tune I wrote called uh, Imposter Blues. And I sell the tab on my website. It's like five bucks if you want to learn the whole thing. It's pretty cool, I think. <laughs> um, and if you have any questions about this groove or fingerstyle guitar in general, leave a comment. And if you like the video, please subscribe to the channel. And if you want to catch me live, I stream on twitch.tv slash Tom and Boston three mornings a week starting at 9 a.m. So come hang out, listen to some tunes, and harass me in the chat. I don't know. Thanks for watching.